these these men across the field took your life, Josh. Do you see them over there? Yeah. I, I dare say they're trampling our crops. Oh, they would do, wouldn't they? And they did. They were. They are. They am. Last night, we were forcefully removed from our house by these men with crossbows. We were not going to stand for it. Josh built this house from the ground up and I just finished renovating it. But we were very ill-equipped to fight back. We ran up to one of the sand dunes just across our house and thought of a game plan. Okay, I don't know. See that guy in the in our lake? I think he's trying to make friends with the axolotl. Oh, oh you know what? What, what? <laughs> oh! Great idea, actually. Sneak attack. Despite the blue suit, this man is very, very cunning. Josh's plan was to drop down from the tree canopy onto our roof, break through and kit up before we go outside and fight these men. Now, you might remember a few episodes back when we built our item storage shack, we ended up moving pretty much all of our supplies across to there, so we didn't know what we had left in the house, especially after I was finished with the renovations. It was a risk we were going to have to take, though, as we saw no other option. They had ranged weapons and we didn't, so I wrapped the rope around a branch and lowered it down. Josh punched out a hole in the roof with his bare hands. I was impressed. Success! We were both inside. Next step now is to find some weapons, find something that we can fight back with. I was hoping Josh would find a bow and arrow that we had stashed in a chest in emergency situations, but he sort of just went straight out. Oh, I think there's some bow and arrow. There's a bow and arrow in here. You're going for it! With nuts the size of that panda behind him, Josh went out there and he wasn't having a bar of it. Huzzah! We defeated their leader. He dropped his banner on the ground and I didn't know it at the time, but he dropped his crossbow too. What an idiot! We then proceeded to go find his buddy that was just taking a dip, to be honest. I think he was just trying to have a bit of fun, but we ended his career so fast. My flint knife. Nice! Oh, he's down. And that's when we put two and two together. We realized that we knew where these people came from and why they wanted to hurt us. What? They must be- oh, they must be from the mansion, Josh! Oh, they- They would have followed up- they would have sp spotted us! Chopping down their trees! Yes, not too long ago, we went out collecting resources and Josh stumbled across the mansion. We haven't spoken about the mansion since because- Well, because knowing that this mansion resides in the same jungle as us is- very overwhelming and we weren't gonna stand for it. I'm not gonna stand for this. But quickly, before we got revenge, I wanted to show Josh something. Through heavy inbreeding, the rabbits have mutated. And you'll notice, Josh, that um, some genetics have actually... Some of our rabbits have changed. We've got some different colors. And now I understand why the people in Tasmania are the way they are. The family bond is so strong down there. Wow, just like the Tasmanians that I held captive, the rabbits are escaping. They're, oh, they're, they're, out. they're escaping. I didn't... Okay. Josh chose the softer approach to gently coax the rabbit out of the chicken pen. As you can see, from past experience, I knew this wouldn't work. I broke out the stone-tipped spear almost instantly. This rabbit was awfully quick and it was getting on my nerves. Wait, get back. Oh! oh. Between me throwing spears and Josh shooting arrows, this bunny rabbit was still escaping. I thought to myself, maybe we should let it live. Maybe this is a sign that this rabbit is the- Oh, never mind. There he goes. Good. We gotta get rid of the ones that can dodge. Yeah. That's right. We only want to breed the slow, fat, shonky rabbits that we can kill and eat quite easily. It seems that the rabbits are all petrified of us. They're hiding in their little den. How cute. Let's see. I'm just gonna do that. Nice. There we go, that might help. After we cleaned up the rabbit's pen and stopped them from escaping, we decided to gear up, try and prepare ourselves for entering the mansion's domain. Josh took the excess of bones lying around and tied them together with some string to make some crude armor. And I did the same with some tree bark. This, paired with our spears and our newly acquired crossbow, gave us a lot of hope. Well, should we test out these bunk beds? Oh God. Yeah, yeah can... I'm keen. <laughs> All right. We couldn't leave just yet, however. We needed to test out the new bunk beds. Is this safe? Uh, sure, we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I mean, you sort of wake up in each other, but I mean, that's all right. The bunk beds serve their purpose perfectly. It appears that I am a master builder. <laughs> anyway, we woke up on this glorious day and decided to spend the day preparing once more because we didn't think we were cut out for the journey that was ahead of us and, and we didn't know what we'd find. I decided to head down and, and catch some fish to cook up on the fire. Did you know salmon swim about 3,000 kilometers upstream just to spawn? These guys came so far and they almost made it. It made me feel bad sticking my stick in them. Josh, on the other hand, was turning to the farm, grabbing all the crops that had grown and creating little foods and ex exquisite little drinks for us to sip along the way. There was a dark feeling in the air, however. Josh and I both could feel it, but we both didn't speak about it. It was the fear looming over us of what could reside in the mansion. Who would we find? What would they say? And what would they try to do? We didn't have the faintest idea, so all we could do was try and get some sleep that night and wake up as ready as we'll ever be. Alright, well, are you good sir ready to rock and roll? I think we're ready. I reckon if we go through this way, I think it was a bit down from the mountain, so we yeah. should be able to go around. Around the mountain, save our legs. 
Here we go, that's the sort of a path. Today was the day. We set off on our journey towards what we thought was the mansion. We had to make sure that we were going in the right direction because we had never attempted to actually reach it. We didn't know where the entrance was or if there even was one. Following the sun east towards the inner jungle, we found ourselves overlooking our property from above. We didn't stop to enjoy the view because we had to continue onwards if we wanted to make it to the mansion before sundown. The jungle was very dense at points, so much so that we had to start cutting our way through. Josh reassured me that we were on the right track and I agreed. I think we're on the right track. Yeah, I think so too. And before we knew it, sure as the sun would rise the next day, there it was. The mansion, the jungle mansion, the overlooming house, the large, uh, house in the jungle. This is a little bit unnerving, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like we might be... Oh, some melons. Well, we kind of struggled with the their initial skirmish. Yeah, that's right. Who were these people and why were they so hostile? The closer we got to the mansion, the stronger these thoughts got. Almost as if to entice us in. I wondered if there was some sort of magical spell on this place or if there's some sort of magical entity inside. Regardless, it seems like their landscaper has had a few days off. There was a tree branch directly next to the window. Oh, we can get close here. Well, I have those ropes. I might be able to just throw a rope up there and... I cracked my ankles back into place and climbed up the tree. I was gonna throw the rope around the balcony and, and hoist myself up to take a look inside and see what we were dealing with. Okay, I'm gonna just go up and have a peek. Oh. Okay, here, come up, have a look. It was not what I was expecting. Beautiful green carpets on the floor of the hallways and sun rays coming in through the windows. This place looked beautiful. We didn't let the tricks fool us though. This place looked pretty, but we knew it held a dark secret. We thought about smashing the window to get in, but we knew that would uh, raise an alarm and people would come rushing immediately. We had to find another way in. Preferably maybe an entrance or a door or something, I don't know. So we shimmed across the guttering of this floor and it wasn't for the faint hearted. This will be good. This is like the ground floor, right? I think so. Oh, this is dun 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 dun. What was that? That was the first sign of life that we've heard from inside this mansion. It didn't exactly instill confidence in us, but again, our curiosity grew. We made our way around the corner and found another window, only to be greeted by two men conversing. Oh, can you see? They're having like this, they're having a meeting. Yeah. We couldn't quite make out what they were saying through the glass, though it sounded just like mumbles. And it also appeared that they didn't have very good eyesight. We were in plain sight of that one in the back there, and he was sort of just staring at us with lifeless eyes. I wondered if there was any thoughts behind that brain, and. If there was, what they would be saying. Probably not too different to myself, I would imagine. Some simple things like a craving for a ham and cheese croissant toasted to perfection. Or wondering how long it would take for my nails to grow another two centimeters, just because I'd like to know. Anyway, I found myself basking in my glorious new tan, and then I looked up and realized it was just golden hour. It appears that the sun was setting and we were gonna have to find somewhere to sleep because I don't know about Josh, but I didn't fancy sleeping inside the mansion that night. I didn't know what was in there and if it would cuddle me or keep keep me company, I don't know. So we set down our sleeping bags in a safe place under some brush, surrounded by evil. We heard a lot of strange things that night, but nothing that deterred us from our goal. We were curious kittens and we wanted to see what was inside this mansion. 